songs were called The Sweetest Sound This Side of Heaven. Guy Lombardo, at one time one of the biggest entertainers in the world, lies largely forgotten to all but his most ardent fans. Happy New Year, everybody. A very happy New Year, especially from all of us. He was born Gaetano Lombardo Jr. in London, Ontario in 1902. Twenty years later, he moved to the U.S. with a band he'd formed with his brothers. They would become known as the Royal Canadians. From 1929 to 1952, Lombardo produced a record that hit the charts every year, some of them rising to number one. Over his career, he sold an estimated 100 million records, although some claim it was three times that. Okay, so maybe Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians didn't inspire the screaming that Sinatra or Elvis or the Beatles did, but in, back in the day, in their day, they were at the top of the game when it came to dance bands. They were playing all the time, they sold millions of records, and by the way, Canada, they took those red jackets, the Royal Canadians brand, and those maple leafs all around the world. In the 1950s, rock and roll arrived and took over. Lombardo's last successful record in 1954 could only manage a number 24 on the charts. Lombardo's fame was enhanced by his New Year's Eve broadcasts enjoyed across North America for nearly 50 years until his run ended in 1976. He made the performance of Old Lang Syne a New Year's tradition that still stands today. And just in case you think the guy behind the music was dull or schmaltzy, well he wasn't. Guy Lombardo was fascinated by speed. Throughout his life, he was involved in racing, particularly boats. The Tempo 7, one of the greatest speed boats of all time. And Guy loved to see that thing fly. Lombardo died of a heart attack in 1977. Today, 35 years after his death, his place among legendary Canadian musicians is virtually non-existent. Talk about an old acquaintance who's been forgot and never brought to mind. For the London Free Press, I'm Patrick Maloney.